We live conflict. So who doesn't have conflict inside their head, right? You have a left and a right brain and they're always arguing with each other. They see the world differently. You have to take care of yourself first or you don't have the strength or energy to be able to take care of the person who needs you. She went for a routine biopsy and I walked in to pick her up and was taken aside by three nurses who said, your friend has got a very aggressive form of cancer and you need to go to Boston right away. When it comes to fighting cancer, the Pan Mass Challenge is an event like no other. Doing the Pan Mass Challenge actually saved my life. Had I not done that and exerted myself to that degree, I may have let this go and kept believing my doctor that there was really nothing wrong with me. I had a very short window to get into treatment. They were very clear with me that I may have only 90 days to live. Thousands of bikers riding across Massachusetts, raising millions of dollars. More money for child cancer research than any sporting event on the planet. Denise de Simone loved being part of it. One of the messages of cancer is no two cancers are the same, just as no two people are the same. The person has to work through cancer by themselves. You know, you have to change from the person who has cancer to a person who doesn't have cancer. I remember in the beginning, she was in so much pain and she refused to take any pain medication. She refused to take pain medication for months. Survivor is a nice word, but it means to merely live through something. I don't want to merely live through something. I'm here to talk to you about thriving. This is my baby sister and this is not going to happen. I am not going to let this happen. Whatever it takes, however we do it, we will get through this and we will get her through this. When I first met her, you had this beautiful, you know, seemingly fun-loving, happy person who was into natural health and should never have gotten cancer. But that cancer taught Denise a whole lot. You know, she learned about herself. She got to see, dialoguing with that cancer, what it meant and what it would take to heal it. It was not a battle. It was, it was a, a journey. We went on the journey and we got off the train at the right stop. I live my life that I expect miracles to happen and I'm shocked when they don't. And most people live their life they're shocked when they do happen. Denise just calls it life, one she's happy to still have. I had to work at it to not be emotional. It had to be, there were tasks that needed to be done and we were just gonna go ahead and do them, whatever it was. I don't wanna say I looked at it as a business, but I really put myself in a business perspective, which would take the emotion completely out of it and just do what needed to be done. I didn't know I was dying. She did know that she had a lump in her throat, so doctors went in to see what it was. And I asked him, do I have lymphoma? And he said, I wish you had lymphoma. What you have is far worse. Squamous cell carcinoma, and it was spreading fast. Six months later, they removed the left side of my neck. She was told she might have only months to live. It was then she decided, while she would go through with painful surgery and debilitating chemotherapy, she would not battle the cancer. Denise De Simone singing the national anthem tonight at Fenway after her own perilous fight. The 52-year-old is a survivor of throat cancer. It was part of a celebration to honor the Pan Mass Challenge. Now in its 28th year, the bike race has raised almost $200 million for Jimmy Fund Lake Good. I didn't just sing for me, I sang for everyone there and everyone who has ever been touched or affected by cancer. She has turned her life story into a book by that name, a story some would call the miracle of modern medicine, others might call the miracles bestowed by a greater power.